Hi guys, so it's the end of day 9, uh, I've been on the bike today, I've climbed uh, uh, the, the Col du Granier from Chambéry which is about 900 meters and then another smaller one. Uh, I was in the mountains, it was just wonderful, it gave me a preview of what I'm going to get uh, in the days to come uh, when I will be running there and I just I can't wait to get there so it was good for my muscles I used different types and different kinds of muscles and it allowed me to rest from what I was doing while still doing some kind of physical effort so today what I wanted to do is show you a little bit of uh, what gear I have in electronics so as you can see this is the case for the GoPro which I'm holding by hand right now and uh, what I bought is a small cable that allows that goes inside the waterproof case and allows me to recharge uh, and always have the GoPro plugged in. Uh, what it is plugged in in is this huge battery. So uh, these are the batteries that I carry for a one day run. This is about 15,000 milliampere hour. This is about 10,000 and this is 5,000. So my iPhone is plugged on this one, my GoPro is plugged on this one, and this is a spare case. So it, it's, it's, um, these bat uh, batteries, these accumulators are, are powerful enough to last way longer than what I use them for. But uh, it's amazing how much progress has been done lately, because when I started a few years ago, uh, all I had was my most powerful battery was this one which is a 5000 milliampere hour battery and uh, right now it has lived a long life and it's way less efficient than these new ones. So that's it. What you can see here, the GoPro is right here. So this backpack like this is on my back and the cable is, uh, is gaffed here and goes down there and I'm holding my battery in the back pocket when it's raining, I use plastic pockets, which, uh, which I use some uh, strong gaffer to, uh, to hold uh, where the cables go out in order to avoid the batteries to get wet because they're not waterproof, sadly, which I, I would really love. Uh, so that's my electronic gear. What you can see also is I have this solar panel battery and this one is plugged in and recharges one of the batteries. Sadly, these new batteries, they cannot be recharged at the same time that they are used. Uh, the old ones could, so, but still I can recharge one of them during this time. I cannot recharge directly the iPhone or the GoPro because they need uh, some kind of uh, protection. Uh, so I go through the batteries in order not to harm them. Uh, in what goes about my iPhone, uh, this is the case that I'm using, it's a life-proof case and basically uh, what you can see is uh, that it, it's completely waterproof. It's a great case, I love it. Its only defect maybe is that when it's raining I cannot use the touch screen uh, which makes it difficult in case of heavy rain to, uh, to well, use directions. So um, that's a more complicated case. But if it's raining lightly, I have no worries, I just close the case and I can recharge it easily like this with this little hole and I really, I usually keep it at 100% in case of emergency or in case of a problem with a cable or something, uh, it gives me uh, time to find a solution. Uh, this iPhone is, is, I use it on my arm with this armband which comes from LifeProof and it's, uh, it's, it's, it goes here and it holds really tightly so I don't have no worries about it and I can look at it just by holding my arm like this uh, while I run uh, it's really easy, really simple I also have this wristwatch in order to have a second uh, element of time and of uh, chrono so I use the iPhone with uh, a GPS application that allows me to uh, see how much I've run, the distance, the time, the, all of these details. And this one stops whenever I stop. It's an automatic feature. 
Uh, and this watch, I start when I start running and I stop when I end running. So I have the global time of the run, which allows me to make the difference from one to the other. So how much time I have stopped in the day. So basically that's it. Uh, this gives you an idea of what kind of gear I have in electronics. I still have cables with me. I have uh, batteries for the GoPro as well as uh, cards, SD cards. I have two 64 gigabyte and one 32 gigabyte cards, which covers two days. Uh, I take five megapixel pictures uh, and I shoot at 720 videos at 50 frames per second. So that's it and well, uh, I hope to see you soon.